So many of us first got to know this fan favorite from her time on the super popular reality series Love and Hip Hop New York. We even followed her along onto other shows as she continued to navigate life and relationships. But Miss Wallace soon left it all behind to focus on being a mom, her acting career, and designing. Now up next for this author and entrepreneur is a new talk show. And this host with the most is here to feed our souls and hopefully fill our bellies. So please raise your forks, your knives, your spoons, and give it up for the lovely, the talented, the super duper for fly, Miss Tara Wallace! Okay, host with the most. Oh, you just made me so excited about myself. Oh, oh. my God. That, that. <laughs> By the way, I went to the lunchroom because I was like, I was going to tell people to grab their forks, knives, and spoons. I could only find a, a knife and a spoon. So there's no fork. And spoon. Either way, it's, it's, it's enough, more than enough. Because this new show for the Impact Network is called Soul Food with Tara Wallace. So what's on the menu for your loyal fan fans like yours truly? Oh, we had, it, it, was, a, it was a great time. We had like, um, we, I think there was a uh, black eyed pea, pico de gallo. There was um, shrimp and grits. And then we, we ended that with um, banana pudding. All right, so, so talk to me about this situation because I was thinking when I first saw the trailer for this show, I know you posted about it on Instagram, I was wondering, was ta a talk show always on your bucket list and how did this all come about? You know, I can't say that a talk show was always on my bucket list, but I try to remain open. Mm -hmm. um, I think that was one of the blessings that kind of came from reality TV. It gave me an opportunity to kind of really redefine what I what I wanted. I didn't have to like just narrow it down. So um, when the opportunity presented itself, I was like, let's just see if I can do this. Of course you, you know, can. So uh, I did my homework and we had an amazing time. Oh, we can tell. And on the first episode, you have New York's very own Jamila T. Davis as your guest. We have a clip. We're going to take a look and then we'll discuss, okay? Okay. For me, from behind bars, I wrote the vision. Okay. You know, I made it plain. Okay. I saw myself doing what I'm doing today. Okay. And I manifested that thing through my focus, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So coming home and knowing, I right, look, I don't got time to play with y'all. Parties, yeah. that's not for me. Right. I got to get to this right here. And that's why I feel like purpose helps to align you. Mm -hmm. It keeps you away mm -hmm. from all of the distractions because you know I ain't got time for this because right. I got to get to that. Wow, so Miss Davis is over there preaching, be the power manifester that she is. How do you decide the guests that come on the show? Because you have like a, an impressive lineup, I have to say. Honestly, um, I, I could not believe the lineup. They asked me who I wanted to talk to. And I gave them the three people that I wanted to talk to. And those are the people that we were able to get on the show. I didn't have to go with a second option or a third option. I called these people. Um, I, I had worked with Jamila before. She called me up and wanted and asked me to come and do some things for her in Newark. I did it. And she was like, Tara, I, I, I you know, I love you. I'll do anything. Aww. And she came to LA and I mean, she was just, she was just, I mean, it's so much of her to go around mm -hmm. and the way she makes you feel so special. Um, Jamila just has a gift. I, I can't explain it. She's she's anointed, and the way she showed up for me, I, I, I'm always indebted to her for coming and just being the first guest on the show. Oh, and judging from the title of your show, the, the, it also has a cooking component because you listed like what's on the menu and which you get to pull off with another pride of New York celebrity chef Nancy. So explain what's going on in the kitchen and how you guys, you know, work back to back. You do the talking, she does the cooking. Yeah, so you know, Chef Nancy and I, we've uh, we've been close for a while, and um, you know, I, I just feel like Chef Nancy is another woman who raised her children and just totally redefined who she was. That's kind of where I am, and I feel like a lot of women, even my friends who went to college, as they begin to get in their you know late thirties, early forties, they're like, look, I love what I'm doing, but I want to do something else. I'm more than just this. And Chef Nancy was a, a perfect example of that, and you know, she's so smart. I call her up on the phone. Um, even if I'm just talking on the phone, I'm making mac and cheese. She's like, look, here's a secret ingredient. Like Chef Nancy, from the moment we've met, um, her smile was contagious and we have been friends. Aw. All right. So we know each episode features a dish of the day. So what's your easiest go-to dish or one that your kids always ask you for? Oh, um, grits. We eat a lot Ooh. of grits in my house. Um, but what I learned, the secret ingredient to these grits w w was the... Um, I don't know if I should even say it, but I'm going to say it. It was the chicken stock. Oh. And that made them savory. It took it from being breakfast on into brunch, on into dinner. So uh, that was the first shrimp and grits that I had ever tried that I actually liked. 
Mm. And uh, I think I think I, I more than liked it. I loved it. it. It was amazing. All right, listen, you are amazing, Miss Wallace. Just so you know, and and the reason I did not bring up the skincare situation because you know you have a skincare <laughs> situation going on is because I'm trying to find another reason to have you back on the show. So I will I will have you back. We will we will talk again and discuss all things beauty. You are beauty and brains personified. Thank you for chatting with us, everyone at home. Soul Food with Tara Wallace. Premier September 3rd on Impact, and we will be right back after this break. Bye, Tara. Bye, Oji. Thank you. Bye.